so um let's begin let's see what's coming your way and you show up oh my god you show up um, are you conflicted we do have the five of swords or it was a hell of a fight right and you show up here quite strong probably you won <laughs> you know but um five of swords there was a conflict this is um around your energy and five of swords again with the six of pentacles in reverse so somebody was not reciprocating all the love and care you brought to them and then that was a fight probably you asked for your rights it's like you know i'm giving so so should you something like that we might be out of balance because of this conflict or we might feel that we are not that generous because we had enough right we've been generous enough and no more generosity so we got into a hell of a fight there but six of cups it is he or she is a soulmate we still love them we might uh, be a, a little bit reminiscent right now remembering the good times together um because probably there was a separation after a good fight and seven of cups with a five of swords yes we had a conflict so what right we we feel a little bit confused right now it's like okay or maybe evaluating some options there for some of you but I feel we are waiting and looking and trying to understand and having expectations and saying, you know what, I've invested in it, so I stick to it. Has this energy here of expecting ships to come home. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is a new beginning that we are pushing away because we expect someone to come back. We expect someone to reciprocate. We expect someone to appreciate whatever we've invested in this connection and come back. So let's see what's going on here. Bottom of the deck, five of wands in reverse. I know we want a resolution to a problem. Nine of wands, we want to be unblocked. We are six of wands. Ashamed of the current situation. Knight of swords, somebody better come to the rescue. Of course, can be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But I kind of feel that we are kind of ready to attack. But um, in a sense of, uh, in a good sense, in a sense of uh, finding solutions, unblocking a situation, killing a situation that is a little bit, I don't know what's that shameful. Um, it has this energy of, um, you know, we don't want people to know. So, so Taurus, past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Current energy is on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome for you the person you are dealing with and mutual awesome so in the past can be past can be recent past we i know i know we had a lot of love for them body mind and soul with the two of cups and the six of pentacles in reverse so we gave a lot of love and we felt that uh, this was not reciprocated somebody was not kind to us the con the connection was not balanced yes there was love uh, but it also it also was unfair some unfair unjust energies and um not a decision being made right because we were uh, so in love with this person it has this energy of um blind right loving blindly and not paying attention having the imbalance in your energy in the connection energy but um not doing anything about it. um tell us this person eight of wands and the five of pentacles no it's the three sorry <laughs> I, I, in, in, it had this energy of taking off in the middle of the night or going out to buy milk and never coming back but it, it has this energy of taking off, right? Eight of Wands is the energy of traveling, is the energy of walking away. Flying away is the energy of somebody who is uh, who was tremendously busy with their work. Three of Pentacles, building something, um, you know, uh, being focused on some teamwork or project. And Eight of Wands in itself is an energy of project. So, you know, uh, someone being way too busy with their work to pay attention to whatever connection you had with them. It's a strong energy of work. And um, maybe they were uh, they were <coughs> working at the distance. Eight of Wands is the energy of flying, um, taking a plane and flying. You know, it's like travel for work. Um, mutual energies. We do have the Hermit and the Page of Swords. I know, right? Hermit energy, silent energy, not a lot of communication. 
a lot of watching though trying to understand page of swords in reverse and again the hermit kind of a confirmation with the page of swords in reverse that communication was um not something that was happening um easily um we have the energy of somebody um here that was very wise about uh the hermit right virgo energy uh, where I'm, you know, patiently waiting and trying to understand and see the lesson in it and shine a light on this situation and being um, calm about it. And we have the page of swords in reverse, which is, if upright is, um, you know, someone quite smart. Um, in reverse, we have kind of a reckless energy, um, you know, and kind of a childish energy to it, while the other person was um, fully mature about and trying to be patient and trying to be wise. I kind of feel this is your energy, uh, the Hermit and the uh, the Two of Cups. There was love and yet we remained silent and um, and waited. It has this energy of patience and waiting and wisdom to it, you know. So where are we right now? We do have the Chariot, Cancer energy. We do have the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse. So you might be dealing with a fire sign, honestly. We do have Knight. So, um, might be someone extremely yeah, impulsive. Um, it has this energy of um, kind of quick shift, deciding quickly, and a lot of movement. A lot of movement. I mean, Knight of Swords is a ton of movement. The Chariot is a world of movement. And Eight of Wands, again, right? In Minor Arcana, again, some more movement. So, somebody was moving like crazy over here. Um, maybe busy again, a sense of, of busyness and, and not seeing the time pass. Um, but I feel right now, uh, Taurus with the chariot, we feel like breaking free. Uh, if you are dealing with, if you are dealing with a fire sign, um, I feel that we want to move move out of the house and distance ourselves from this person. We do have the chariot. It has an energy of breaking free and being able to breathe. For me, the chariot um, energy and. Um, and leave behind this fire sign. Both energies are in reverse. I kind of feel we are not, we are no longer passionate as we used to be. And I believe it's the unfairness that makes you want to break free. You know? And again, there is a sense of shame to it. Taurus, I don't know exactly what this is, but you have like a couple of energies that we want to break free. A sense of shame, a sense of... Um, um, in balance in a sense of um you know this is uh, you know i'm i'm worthy i i don't want to have to deal with this it's kind of a realization of the lack of reciprocation of energies that you brought to this connection now this person of yours seven of swords and the four of wands so right now they are not fully honest about why this connection is over why the separation is happening why this divorce we do have the four of wands in reverse they might uh, have moved out of, out of the house, or maybe you did. And uh, the Seven of Swords, they don't feel like sharing. They don't feel like, um, you know, telling the truth at this point. And um, they might feel disappointed themselves. There is an energy of self-disappointment with the Seven of Swords, but I kind of feel that you are not uh, having the truth you want to have about what happened and what's going on. Mutual energies between the two of you, the Three of Cups in reverse, the Lovers in reverse. And we know Three of Cups with the Seven of Swords. We know for sure that is a third party situation here. And this is why the disconnection, Taurus. This is why Three of Cups, Seven of Swords. Somebody was not honest about. Um, three of Cups, Three of uh, Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Four of Wands, right? A commitment that went and, um, you know, this person of yours might have lost interest or was tempted by something else um, and not fully honest. I don't feel though they were hiding behind work, Doros, um, because it can be, but in the recent past or in the past, honestly focused on work and, and it might be someone from work, honestly, that is uh, something there, but I don't feel that somebody was um, uh, misleading you, hiding behind a lot of work. They were involved in like uh, big things. Some Again, somebody here was like traveling for work and, and having to move back and forth. But in the process, somebody got dishonest about the whole situation. So let's have the outcome. We do have the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups in reverse. What's going on, Taurus, right? Um, 
It's a little bit of worry, but I would say no need, right? Five of Cups. Why lose precious tears for someone that, um, you know, um, I mean, if they are not honest, what are we doing here, right? Um, why, why lose time? Um, and, um, and that's kind of, um, right, a little bit of worry that we need to pay attention to. Now this person of yours, they do have the uh, moon in reverse and the knight of swords. Um, I don't think they're going to move much, right? When it comes to you and this connection, knight of swords in reverse, it's a stagnant energy. It is um, an energy of breaking free and yet being unable and the energy of fear release, uh, the moon in reverse. It, I believe they are quite uh, stressed, um, stressed out by the current situation. They know they've been dishonest. They know they've uh, been hiding something. And this is the energy of staying put so that no um, secrets are coming out. No truth is revealed, right? Um, it's the energy of tiptoeing and making sure that whatever can be revealed, it, it is not. And mutual energies between the two of you, two of pentacles upright and the ace of pentacles in reverse. Taurus, I don't feel, um, again, right? Uh, working a lot, two of pentacles, focusing on your financial stability, responsibility. Two of pentacles is the energy of having two jobs, of um, making sure you have enough, and the ace of pentacles in reverse. I'm not seeing an offer. Between the two of you, I'm not seeing a new beginning. Um, actually, I'm seeing someone dishonest that we need to move away from. I see someone really um, manipulating so that they come out clean. We have the Knight of Swords. It, it's it, They want to leave behind uh, this and probably can be on energy too, Taurus, where we are just done. Um, and we want to leave behind something, right? But in the process it's kind of like they are covering up whatever they don't want to say, you know. That is a secret that they have. That is something that they want to hide and they want to make sure it doesn't come to light, right? So let's ask for some guidance. Again, the question is yay or nay. I would say that the, uh, the answer is, is clear, right? So Taurus, miracles and blessings, everything has its gift. Um, so Taurus, this is a gift, whatever you are going through and it, you might have it like in a kind of a painful way and it feels disappointing, it's actually better this way. And it's the universe kind of confirming, right? Everything has its gift, including this situation. So uh, thank God, right? And speaking of self-protection, we just got the garden, right? This is a time of self-care and healing. This is a time of nurturing your inner um, your inner world, your inner child, uh, plant a seed, right, for your own um, good. So this is investing, right, in yourself, nurturing your inner, your soul, and speaking of inner peace, right, in your world, um, staying at peace. It's kind of like the universe, right, um, um, making sure you hear the message, stay at peace, this is a gift, and not something that is hurting you whatever is happening actually it is a gift to you i love this so take the time to nurture yourself yin and yang this is and i kind of feel this is the balance within right the masculine and the feminine that we have within us right the out the inner world and the outer world and i kind of feel the universe is asking you to bring some harmony within you um inner peace and harmony right so maybe you feel like chasing, maybe you feel like revenging, maybe you feel like, you know, and, and then that's the uh, feminine energy, the inward energy. So we need a balance between the two of you at this time, just by staying at peace and knowing that this is a gift. Uh, bottom of the deck, take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. So you are asked, right, to open up, to open up the new energies, to take a chance on love, not give up. What I hear is, don't give up on love. This is a gift. This is not a disappointing, uh, sorry, a disappointment, right? So, so this is a blessing. 
This is not a gift. This is um, this is not a disappointment. This is a uh, blessing. Energies we need to put back into the flow or we are guided to. We do have success. I know that there is no greater goal than love. So miracles, blessings, and success. This is what we need to focus on. Self-esteem. We do have the garden. This is your self-protection and self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. And this is an activation card, right? This is what you have to say all through the day under your breath, right? Um, to activate self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I'm gifted. We do have humor, so we forgot to have a little bit of fun, Taurus, and the universe, you know, pays attention, and it's like, come on, have some fun. So I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So let's not make a drama out of it. This is a gift. Just a reminder, this is a blessing. And we do have love. I commit to the practice of seeing good in all things. Bottom of the deck, how about the guilt? And uh, we had the shame and now we have the guilt. So there is no reason for that we let go of. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So whatever, again, um, guilt and shame you have related to this, this is none of your fault. And, um, you know, they are kind of trying to hide their tracks and... Um, and um, they bring the disappointment, uh, a disappointing energy to the whole connection. So we say no thank you. Um, so Taras, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.